Okay. I forgot how sweet that shit is. Oh my god. We have literally like a... I don't... Is fluid ounces different than normal ounces? Because I... I have no clue. But that's got to be mixed together. That's brown sugar, more butter, Jesus Christ, and condensed milk. Not the healthiest of recipes I could have picked. And this, um... It... It's not as hard as it sounds, <laughs> but I'm, I think I overdid the edges a little bit. Um, so now we've got to put this, put that out of the way, to a low heat. Yep, there we go. And put it like halfway between medium and the lowest it'll go, because that's quite low. Let's get a spoon. Let's get a, yeah, let's use this spoon. It's my usual spoon that I use when I make ramen and stuff. Oh god, this butter. Um, and basically it just says put it all in a pan. A non-stick saucepan, but we've opted for my tiny little friend here. This is my ramen pan. Um and what I make my white sauce and my pastas in. Why are you unfocusing again? Here you go, come on. Yeah, over low heat and cook, stirring constantly until the mixture comes to a boil. I am stirring constantly. The issue is it looks disgusting <laughs> and it's turned a greeny colour. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, which is kind of gross. Mmm. Yummy. I feel like I've ruined perfectly good condensed milk. Oh, it says stir constantly, but I really want to drink some of my tea. Oh, I can leave it alone for two seconds, right? Famous last words. Okay. Mmm, look at that orangey goodness. And back, and we're stirring constantly. Shh. Basically, we've got to let that cool down, um, and then with this, what we need to do is get it to all mix together. I did not know this is how you make caramel. Does it say anything else? Reduce the heat so it comes into the caramel. Dude, this is just how you make caramel. How does butter, sugar, and condensed milk make caramel? I don't... I thought you needed something else for caramel. I don't know what I'm thinking, but... Oh god, the butter lumps. That's my Powerpuff Girls name. <laughs> butter lumps. Because <laughs> I'm curvy and I own it. Not, I'm very awkward with my curviness, but... We ignore that. We keep going. Can't do much about it when your family asks you to cook and you end up cooking... This. What happened to the goodness of salads? I... <laughs> And then we're having a pie as well, so that's not exactly healthy either. This is definitely my cheat day this week. This doesn't seem to be doing anything. Is the butter supposed to be melting? Come on. Melt. Melt. It looks... Okay, it's getting more caramelly. But it's kind of green. Like, it's getting caramelly colour, but then it's like a weird greeny kind of colour as well. So weird. Okay. Bobby's disappeared. I don't know where he's gone. I think he went to the front room. To the lounge. Wouldn't surprise me. The sofas aren't very comfy, but they're comfier than the floor. Because <laughs> we have wood floors. Because we're fancy. They're just chunks of brown sugar in here. I'm not sure if I was supposed to sift them or any- Ooh, look at the yellow mixing in. That's kind of cool. <coughs> yeah, my throat is probably not going to survive the rest of today. Um, and that's weird because uh, the past couple of days I've had like next to no voice and then today I woke up and I had most of my voice as you can tell. But now, <laughs> with recording and having to talk to everyone in my family because it's Mother's Day and it's a Sunday which means my nan all comes around and everything 
probably going to lose my voice again. So I foresee a lot of green tea and some lemsip in my future. <laughs> Am I just supposed to like whisk it like this? It's just like lumps of butter. How do I get them to melt? Do I just have to wait? I can bury them. Does that help? It's just like a lump of brown sugar. Okay, I'll get back to you.